I'm going back to my childhood. Going back to my childhood. So in Lexington, North Carolina, there's a place called Char's. I used to like going to Char's and getting their foot long hot dog. Now, I would go there and I would get it every time. Fries included. They have good milkshakes, ice cream, you name it. But uh, the foot long hot dog was like the craze, I guess, in, in school or whatever. All the kids were like, you get a, you get a foot long hot dog, hussy? You get one? Yeah. Heck yeah, man, I got one. Uh, yeah, it was just, it was just a, a big thing, right? I guess because it was you know, larger than what we got at home, larger than what we got at school. So, uh, so today, a little local place near us called Cedar Lodge, they have foot long hot dogs, the red ones. If they're not red, they're not worth it. I said it, not worth it. And then uh, Flowers Foods has uh, the buns that goes along with it. So what I'm gonna do to you today, is kind of like a Sonic, like a Sonic dog. They serve the foot long hot dogs as well. They do chili, cheese, and I'm gonna add some bacon to mine. A little bacon, hey girl. A little bacon, some pickled jalapenos. <whistles> Boy, this foot long hot dog is gonna be right. You don't have to do a foot long hot dog if you wanna recreate this at home. Make it a regular size. I just so happens that Cedar Lodge told my buddy Putz who works there, I said, Putz, y'all got them dog hot dogs back in stock? He said, yeah. I said, getting them. I'm gonna do a video on them. So here we go. Foot long hot dogs on the Blackstone griddle. Giddy up. Wait a minute, not giddy up. Let's get to the ingredients. <laughs> All right, y'all, our ingredients. Here's our foot long hot dogs here. They're red, zoom in there. Pork, mechanically separated chicken, water. Oh, who cares? All right. Yeah, you, yeah, don't, don't, don't read over there. Got the foot long, uh, foot long buns. Good, good groceries. Got some, this is for the chili, okay? This is ketchup. Uh, garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder, a little bit of our beef powder. We got, I'm not really sure how much beef is over here, but I don't know, probably half pound or maybe a little bit more. We're getting that brown. Go ahead and getting, we've made chili before. A little bit of our bacon. I had some left our bacon from breakfast, pickled jalapenos. This is just cheddar cheese. You could do uh, like a cheese whiz, I guess, if you want. Uh, and then some Duke's mayonnaise. I'm sure I forgot something. But that is it. Got old cheer wine there. I've been reconditioning the Blackstone here a little bit. She's been needing a little bit of love with some of this uh, conditioner. So, all right. Pretty cool. Take you back to your childhood. Hey, it's all good. Uh, it's this is gonna be a pretty easy cook. It's not really involved at all. The chili is probably the most. Uh, the chili is probably one of the biggest things to do. All right. So the chili is pretty much the hardest thing of this cook. And we've made chili before. Um, again, it's just a simple chili recipe. Especially if you're doing like a hot dog hamburger and you want chili on that or uh, you know, something of that nature. It's, it's a good chili. And I'll stand by it, I really will. Uh, my mom made this chili growing up. She, uh, everybody loved my mom's chili. They were like, Melinda, you're making chili for the birthday party for old for, for Larry, okay? Larry needs chili for, for the hot dogs and hamburgers. You're doing it, Melinda. That was my mom's name, Melinda. Love her. We're gonna squirt a little ketchup in that. It don't have to be fully brown, okay? We're gonna do a little bit of our beef powder. That's just to add a little bit of beefy, a little, little beefy. We're gonna do chili powder. A good, healthy amount. A little onion powder, garlic powder, okay? Here we go. Then we're gonna squirt a little bit of water. Come here, water. I'm gonna do a little water, okay? Take a spoon. We're just gonna run this around. So while our chili cooks, I know some of you guys are probably saying, Hussy, your, your meat's not brown. It don't have to be fully brown. I do know that it needs a little bit more chili powder. If you want a little bit more heat to your chili powder, add some uh, cayenne pepper, 
You can add some uh, chipotle powder. You can add whatever you like to spice it up. I'm a little bit more traditional. All righty. Okay. We're gonna put our chili right there and we're just gonna let it chill. With that, now, all we really gotta do is put the dogs on. We gotta run them around. Most of the time, and I bet what Charles does, is they, uh, I think most of the time they boil these, bull. I think normally they boil them or they uh, steam them, you know? But me personally, I like a little char on mine, all right? So this is a little, I like to just brown that skin a little bit. We're gonna brown these up. Let's run around, look at that. See that little char right there? That provides, whew, boy hussy, that's hot. That right there provides a nice little, nice little snap, little snap. That's all you're looking for. Let's talk about our buns. Let's talk about our buns. Let's talk about our buns, son. Two nice buns here. I wanna make sure my, my wieners aren't getting too black. Cause you do want them, you want them to be cooked through. I mean, they're already cooked, but you know, you want them to be about 140 degrees inside. We're gonna take two of these foot long buns here. Two nice ones, okay. One thing I like to do with my buns, one thing. Test, I mean, whether they, you know, tighten them up there uh, is to want to try to steam them up a little bit. I don't need these burners anymore here. I want to steam them up a little bit. And what that does is it helps them be a little more pliable. They're already kind of soft, but they can be a little bit softer. So, it's a little bit of water and we're just gonna steam them up. Just give them a, just give them a minute, they don't need very long. I don't know, did y'all have, did y'all's mom have that old steamer? Went on the stove top, it was like green, it was, there was all co different colors. I have a little cheer wine. My mama has that thing somewhere and I wanna go find it. All right. Thanks so big. Oh yeah, they're nice. It's nice and pliable now. So it's not gonna break on you. Not gonna do any of that. All right. Our hot dogs are good. Now it's time to build these things, y'all. Are you ready? I wanna take this rack. I'll put it on there. That's so that I put this back onto the griddle. It's easy to transport, okay? All right, let's focus our attention to our lovely hot dog buns. It's so cold out here, this thing seized up a little bit already. It's chilly. All right, so y'all know how I feel about mayonnaise on a hot dog, so guess what? Mine gets mayonnaise, okay? If you, you don't want mayonnaise, don't put mayonnaise. That's what you wanna do, okay? It's your hot dog, not, not mine. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna judge you. All right, look at that. Okay. Now, I'm gonna plop my Dog right there, look at that thing. Boy, big old hot dog. Big old hot dog. Okay, we take our chili. We're gonna take our chili. We're gonna take our chili. Now we're gonna take this chili. I'm gonna run in there like that. Chili, chili. It's chili outside, I'll tell you that much. that. 
you look at that. Now, we're gonna take cheddar cheese. We're gonna come in here just like this. We'll take cheddar cheese. And we're gonna load this sucker up. Take a little bit of our bacon and put it on top of that. I'm gonna wait for our jalapenos because I don't want I want them to stay a little bit cool. This is gonna be a heck of a dang hot dog. Okay. Woohoo, boy! We're gonna bring these back over to the grill and we're gonna dome it and squirt a little bit of water under there, get some more steam so we can melt that beautiful, beautiful cheese. And then we're gonna try our foot long hot dog. All right, let me go get my dome. Where is it? Oh, there. Oh, here it is. The dome. Yeah, that's hot. All right, let's squirt it. We're gonna let that go for a minute, let that cheese melt, and we're gonna be done, y'all. Come back in about a minute. All right, y'all, it's been about a minute. Let's see where the cheese is. Ooh, yeah. Maybe another 30 seconds and we'll be good to go, all right? All right, y'all. Hey, it's been about a minute and a half. Let's see what we got. Ready? Woo! Boy, look at that. Look at that. Boy, that looks good. Let's get it over here. Let's finish dressing it with these pickled jalapenos so we can give us a try. Turn these burners off. They're not needed anymore. All right, y'all. Oh, look at that, boy. Look at that. Dang. Now, let's come in here. We're just gonna come in here with some pickled jalapenos. Boom! Foot-long hot dogs on the Blackstone griddle. Done and ready to try. All right, y'all, hey, I'm gonna let these cool off a little bit and we're gonna give them a try. Come back in a minute. All right, y'all, hey, our foot-long hot dogs, they're done. I wonder if it's like bigger than my foot. I'm not gonna try, but it is pretty big. And I'm gonna give this a try. She looks good, the bun is still soft. Gosh, all right, let's give it a try. Hmm. Gotta have that red hot dog. First thing I bite, there was all kinds of stuff. Now I'm getting a jalapeno. First things first, I got creamy of the mayonnaise, then the hot dog. The hot dog's got like a, it's like a briny, like a, salty, sodium-ish. This tastes really good, but you, like I said, you don't want to read the ingredients at all. Um, and then uh, the chili really shines through, and then the cheese also adds a good good flavor too. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, hey, I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all your support. Um, I do want to uh, say this video goes out to my, my big buddy, Wally. Uh, Wally passed away um, earlier this year. Uh, big supporter of the channel, big supporter of a lot of uh, the friends that we have in the community, YouTube community. We all kind of, you know, have come up together. Uh, Wally and his wife, Delaney, they have been huge supporters. Um, I just want to take this moment to, to say uh, rest in peace, big buddy, and uh, we'll be seeing you on the other side, brother. Just want to give a little bit more for Wally few pictures here uh, again you'll be missed my brother rest in peace y'all hey that's it uh, I'm gonna let you go appreciate you watching the hot dog video hey I love you I appreciate you and until next time folks hunger hussy is out bye y'all